Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Thursday night team Zoom tonight. Normally, it's a call or a Facebook Live or whatever, but tonight we're doing a Zoom because it's going to be a very, very special night. First of all, June 1st, and I'm sure by now you guys have seen all of the incredible announcements, and that was just mind-blowing to watch that video earlier that Mark Pentecost did. And how amazing is it that today, out of all of the distributors that have ever joined It Works since the beginning of the company 16 years ago, we just so happen to have the number one income earners what? on here tonight. Joel and Stephanie Dunn, they have just done an incredible job. Been with this company now for, I believe, over eight years. And top money earners in 2016, currently top money earners in 2017 and just have become near and dear friends to us. Seriously, two of the most selfless and giving people. Like we are not in their organization. They don't, um, they don't make anything off of us, but yeah, they're always there to um, help Chad and I out when we're going through our own personal crisis in the business. Because guess what? Even as Ambassador Diamonds, you have moments where you need those friends and people around you that can pick you up and that have been where you are. And Joel and Stephanie are those people for us. They're two of our best friends in the business. Um, we go to them anytime we have anything. We trust them. And we are super blessed and excited that they were willing to jump on here tonight for you guys. So without further ado, Let's bring them on, Joel. I'm going to unmute on. you. All right, you're, you're good. I see a lot of smiling faces. Yay. Well, you should be smiling anyway. <laughs> you guys know how much money you're going to make? Did anybody <laughs> not get the announcements today? Isn't I, that I mean, if you didn't get the announcements, uh, a lot of amazing stuff happened. Uh, let's see. $100 credit towards whatever you want. Uh, sign three distributors, super awesome stuff's going to happen. Uh, if you miss a month on qualifying for a go or a go fast bonus, the next month you qualify for it, you get it back. So it's like never lose a bonus bonus, uh, which in this industry is amazing. Yes. Um, awesomeness was announced, <laughs> um, more awesomeness. And then Chad and Jerry decided to have an amazing zoom so that we could just go over all of it with you guys. How awesome is that? <laughs> it's pretty dang awesome we just love you guys to death and first of all just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to do this with us yeah well you guys just kind of I know we've always got so many new people obviously joining so some people on here might be hearing from you for the first time so would you guys just share you know the three to five minute version of how you heard about it works um, you know, why you joined it works and what point in your business did you like just have that dream where you said, we're going to be number one, just kind of talk us through that. Wow. Okay. So, all right. So eight years ago, life was awesome. Uh, we were professional failures. Um, we did everything that all of you were probably taught to do, which was go to school, get some grades. Maybe, uh, we wanted more, so we didn't think the nine to five was going to work out. So, uh, we, did network marketing that really was horrible for us so we failed at that uh, then we thought okay hey let's get into franchising because franchising is amazing uh, had a fitness franchise and then it was like hey rental properties are amazing because they're always gonna never run out of land because it just doesn't grow on trees so we started buying rental properties and then all of a sudden this crazy thing happened where uh, people stopped paying bills and people were losing jobs and uh, the economy crashed so we ended up losing our franchises, uh, losing our rental properties, uh, having cars repossessed, filing for bankruptcy, standing in food lines at church to get food for free so that we would still have enough money left over to make the payment on our actual house, which was still like six months behind, so they were foreclosing on that too. Then, you know, magically when you're broke, you still find money to do stuff that makes you feel good. So Stephanie found money somewhere to get her hair did because she wanted to get it done. Okay, let's just say this, guys. Going through all that, I was really depressed. So if you've ever felt like that, you're just feeling like, cow, this isn't the way that I envisioned my life was to live and work. Literally, we would, I remember feeling like a robot getting up at 3 in the morning and not going to bed until 9, 10 o'clock at night every single day. And and still getting cars repossessed and stuff. And I was like, this is not how I imagined my life, God. This is not what I signed up for. I don't know why you trust me because this isn't working out. 
And so I was depressed and it had been at least a year for me to get my hair done. So I was like, I don't even care right now. Life is miserable. I need to get my hair done. And so if it was mean, you know, not paying another bill or something, that's where I was at. So Joel's like, okay, we'll do that. Um, I go to get my hair done. My girlfriend lost weight. She said, it's this crazy wrap thing. I was like, you've got to be kidding. And, uh, she pulls it out. So I hear wrap and I think full body wrap and it's just a little wrap. And I'm like, well, I'm fat because I've been depressed. So it was about 30 pounds heavier than where I'm at. And I was like, at this point, heck, I'm already overdrafting my account to get my hair done. Joel's like, well, if you're getting skinny, I am too. So we're both going to do this and really overdraft our account. And that's when we tried it. So eight years ago, uh, June 24th of this month, will be our eight year anniversary. So um, that's really kind of what happened. Yep. So she, where we found it. our sponsor did everything absolutely wrong. Uh, she said it makes fat cells go away, which scientifically is impossible unless you do liposuction. So first off, I was like, I'm going to go there and prove it wrong. Uh, then it, it was one of those pyramid things. So, you know, that's awesome. We're like, well, where do you get it from? She's like, oh, it's one of those pyramid things. Uh, the one thing that she did right was put the wraps on us and gave us drink, greens to drink while we had it on. So we had amazing results. Mm -hmm. And then I was stuck with the, well, it worked. And then she said, you know, oh, it's a pyramid thing. I'm like, oh, we're going to be so rich because I love network marketing. And the reason why is because network marketing is probably one of the oldest business models on the face of the planet. See, uh, a couple thousand years ago, there was this guy named Jesus uh, he ran around with 12 dudes. Those 12 dudes signed up, you know, 72 other dudes. Those 72 other dudes signed up 400, which turned into what we know today as the church. So the business model works through history. That's why it's so amazing. And now we have an amazing product. So we were never going to do one of those things again. When she said that stuff was like, <sighs> and I'm like, I know a woman will sell a child, a kidney, and not pay an electrical bill. Oh, and we just overdrafted our account to get skinny in 45 minutes for $25. I go, we're going to be rich. That was totally Joel. So, yes, that is true. And, you guys, I'm so excited because we got the $100 product credit back. That's why I got into this. I was like, well, I don't care. I just want to get skinny and feel better. So that was my first initial goal. So what is your first initial goal? Mine was not to be rich like Joel. I wanted to feel better about myself. However, I did want to have money. Um, so I thought, why not give it a shot? We've already spent the money. I know a couple of people, I'll just talk, call them and, and share with them. You know, you have a business opportunity, you can get really good results and get my customer pricing, or you can get really good results and actually make money like I'm doing. So I just gave them the options, there was no pressure. Um, so that's what you guys got to do is let them know and then say, you know, if this is something that you've been thinking about, what a great time right now. When you get four loyal customers, you're going to get a hundred dollar shopping spree. If you wanted to stop after that, you know, go ahead. That's not my goal in this. I want to see you, um, make some money and learn. But that was where my mentality was at when we started. It was so simple that I've never left that. And that's something that you know, Mark's talked about back to basics. I want you guys to remember that. Um, have a long-term goal, but also have that short-term and don't overcomplicate. Um, the moment you do and think, oh my gosh, I need to be Chad and Jury, it's not gonna work. Listen to them and guide them and use what they do, but make it your own and watch what happens. Um, so Chad, when you said, you know, that was our first goal of, Joel's gonna, he had this vision, he had this long term. And what happened for me was I saw that it started working. So celebrate your win. When you get a customer, when you get a distributor, what does that do for you? You start believing in yourself. Chad and Jury believe in you guys, have no question that you're a black diamond team and that you're gonna get there. So when you're feeling a little self-doubt, reach out. They don't know unless you're you're unless you're communicating or with your upline. So I started seeing some wins like Oh my gosh, I got my fourth loyal on my 30th day, guys. I wasn't like super awesome at this at the beginning. Um, so I was like, yes, I got my free product because that's what I wanted. Remember, that's really what I wanted. Um, also, I was getting distributors. So I was kind of like, wow, oh, the distributor part came 
easy because I was like, why not try? You're going to make some money and get some free products. So that's why I did, did pretty good. So we saw some money up front. So with wrap cash, that free product, and then having the fast starts. Um, couple years in, I think, well, we probably said number one, maybe at about three years ago mm -hmm. is really when I put it out there because why not? Any one of you can do that. Um, I decided I'm, I, I deserve it. Why not? Chad and Jerry can put that out there and they can go for it. I love, love, love this about it works is that you can come from any background, um, any age and you can go no matter where you want to go. It's having that right mindset, knowing that you're not looking, you know, left and right, you're laser focused and you know where you're going. So I knew I was going to do it with or without someone. Somebody quit. Don't let them stop you from where your destiny is going. You're going with or without them. So just have that kind of attitude. And um, I really did. And I still do. Um, it's part of the industry. It's part of business. People come and go all the time. And it's not because of you. You just need to know where you're going and it's going to happen. So, I mean, think about this. Since you've been at your nine to five job, how many people have you seen come and go? It's no different at your job than it is in this business. The only difference is in this business, people take it personal. If Dave that's in the cubicle next to you leaves to go work for another company, are you angry at Dave? You don't care. You're like, ah, oh, I'm so glad Dave's gone. He was so mean. Now I don't have to deal with his stupid music over the divider anymore. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of this comes into play with mindset. I mean, I've been talking to people a lot lately on that and um, having those wins and celebrating those, you guys, knowing that you guys can do this and it takes practice. So uh, I just shared this with a girl today. She's a distributor. She's like, okay, I'm going diamond. I'm like, okay, you got, you got to have a party. She's like, I don't want to. And I'm like, you said you want to go diamond. Are you going to tell your distributors to do a party if you've never done one? And I'm like, you're going to be scared. I was scared to death. Um, I didn't have a mentor helping me do a party. I just did it. So just like a new job or anything else, are you scared? Yes. But you've got to get out and do. The more that you do, the better that you get. So um, practice your way to the top is really what you want to do with this. Um, and really, it's quite simple, right? We get paid two ways. Sign a loyal customer, sign distributor. There should be nothing else that we're focusing on. I mean, I am. I don't have Zooms every week. Um, people think that I'm crazy, but we know that we just talk to people and we help them. And that's what you're in. You're in the help business. You're not in anything else other than how many people are you gonna help today? How many distributors are you going to sign this, this week? And are you willing, really willing to message 100 people, 500 people, 1,000 people, that week to get your one distributor. And I just want to throw this out there right now. I'm looking on here. It says we have 184 people. So out of 184 people, someone should be able to, during this time that we're on here, sign somebody up and put it in the chat. Just saying. <laughs> and, you know, I think, uh, you know, when people come into this, they think, wow, oh, there's got to be some magic that, that Steph and Joel do or these top earners do or they come. The only difference that they've done is they made a decision, they put in the work, and they're going for it. Um, so that's really, I think, what you guys need to know. You all have the ability to do it. It's whether or not you're willing to actually put in the work. That was kind of a longer part of our story, but. <laughs> oh, we love that. We love that. I love your story. And there was parts of it that I hadn't even heard yet. So that was really cool. Well, I love, I love how you guys can, you know, how you're, like you said, your mindset's one place. So Stephanie, you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get some free product. And Joel's like, we're going to be rich. You know, <laughs> that's probably you. <laughs> like, yes, Jack. Yeah, exactly. Pretty I much. Was actually pretty much. That's what me and Chad get along so well. <laughs> free product. He's like, we're going to get rich. So I'm like business opportunity. Is that what you said? Yeah. I'm like, I don't <laughs> care what it is, but business. Yeah. So Joel, I think you shared one time that you guys were like the 20 something uh, couple to go diamond in the business. Yeah, we were, we were diamond number 24. Diamond number 24. And now you're number one. So I, I just yeah. love that, that, and to me, it's just, it's so amazing and unique that you guys just said, you know, you, you decided to do, obviously you've done what other people aren't willing to do and you've put in the time and you put in the effort and you've been so consistent and you've been so disciplined 
and you're just like the energizer bunnies that just keep going and going <laughs> and going, right? So, okay, with today's with today's announcements. Now, first of all, I'm I'm sure you guys are just so excited, like we are, just just like we're, we're jumping up and down. Dree <laughs> wasn't feeling good, and she's like screaming, jumping up and down. And <laughs> I'm like, I know that's when it's a good announcement, right? When she's doing that. So, what are some action steps that you guys are going to do? Uh, right now, just to get that into your team and and get that and run with it. So you got to follow up with people. Um, that's the number one thing. If you haven't been messaging people all along, who do you have to follow up with? So the fortune's always in the follow up, and I know this because um, we know the importance of this business and what it can do. They just most people or people that you've talked to don't understand that yet. So we have to follow up with them and keep putting it in their face. So for me, I reached out to people um, and just said, oh my gosh, this is the absolute best time. I know life was kind of crazy last month, um, a lot going on, but what a perfect timing. You can actually get your free product when you get your four loyals. The bonuses are back. You know, so really give them all everything that they have. They're gonna get amazing product in their kit. And then also, you know, when I'm talking to people, I let them know, and I don't know if you guys do this or not, but for me, I was scared at the beginning. I was signing up thinking, I'm signing my life away. I don't really know what I'm doing. What if this doesn't work? I mean, let Remember, them know. Remember, we were broke. Yes, let them know. Because I was like, oh man, they're going to try to get into our account and I don't even have anything left. So um, I always let them know, if this just doesn't work for you, you stop. And now it's not my goal, but I think it eases their mind. So go back to what are you feeling? Connect with the person's feelings and you will sign more distributors because you made that connection of exactly how they feel. So um, I, I laughed at somebody because they said, well, the last two weeks I've messaged about 30 people and I was like, all two weeks? I was like, whoa, you've got to message more than that. And this gives you those follow-ups if I've done hundreds and thousands, you know, over the last two weeks, I have a lot of people to follow up with. And eventually having it in their face, they're going to be like, okay, now the time's right. Now I can go for some free products. So if you're new on this, start creating your follow up, your list of people that you can, can follow up with um, and be excited. I love that Joel always talks about this is, um, the three E's, excitement, enthusiasm, and energy. If you have all those, you know, and you're calling them, oh my gosh, you got to do this. I'm so excited. They're going to be like, what am I, what am I doing? You know, mm -hmm. so create that excitement because people will be drawn into you and clean up your Facebook or Instagram. If it looks like poor me, poor me, I'm sorry. I don't want to be around somebody like that. I want to be around somebody that's like Chad and Jerry that's lifting me up. And also I see, you know, their story. Do you have your story out there for people to see? and posting it multiple times, sharing other people's stories so they connect with, with that. Um, so I do that. Um, I blitz every day, so you guys need to do that. How else are you gonna get um, leads? Yes, you have social media, but I do a lot of belly to belly. So while we're out, we're always getting people from that. So don't be afraid to hand out coupons. Customer appreciation day every single day. Um, are you guys asking for parties? I think that's something that people just don't do. We've had two parties last week, had a party tonight. We're consistently getting parties every week. That night might not be my personal, but it's me helping them. So how cool is that, that we had a party set up from last week. She just joined, doesn't have her kit yet, but we launched her tonight and got her, her customers and distributors going because of the new promotions, right? So if you can do a party, so... Um, those are the action things that you have to do is you have to ask. Um, if you don't ask, then the answer is no. So understand you are going to get no and you're going to get ignored, but you keep following up. That's really. Oh, are you, Steph, are you still, you're, you're basically getting people on the phone, right? Like when you're talking to them, like you're, you're getting them on the phone or voice memoing, right? Yeah. I mean, I know my strength is on the phone. So if your strength is talking to them on the phone, I can, I can listen to their concerns or their excitement feed off of what their kind of their voice is. So that's why I do that. Same thing with voice memos, jury, you know, that's exciting. You know, I, I do that sometimes, but if I can get them on the phone, they're probably going to sign up. The other thing too, my, is my strength is the complete opposite of the phone. Joel is not a phone person at all. Not at all. If you call me, you will get voicemail. 
he is so funny because you guys think that he would love it. Um, he's very, it's weird because you're kind of an introvert, uh, but he loves the stage. I do not enjoy the stage. I love what I'm one and talking to people on the phone. So whatever your strength is, utilize it. If it's texting, I know people can text and sign people. So that's fine. Um, the other thing too, for new ones or people that you just feel like, cow, I'm stuck right now. I just feel like nothing's working. Do a group message, do a group text. Jury can then, or your upline or whoever can actually do a voice memo and be excited to the person because you know, like for me, I know everything that's going on. So if they're, they're like, I just don't know what to say, they're going to hear you say that and they're going to learn from that. So I've been doing a lot of that recently too. Um, trying to think what else. Because this is all today, Chad. So that was a good question to ask because I'm like, oh my gosh, I kind of threw people. I don't want to say throw them under the bus, but I'm real with you guys. You know, um, I wanted it so badly that I was willing to do what somebody told me to do. So are you willing to take this information and actually go put the, the action behind it. And you need to because there are people that are going to go from Ruby to presidential in 90 days, just like another girl did, because it was all right here and with mass action. So I mean, here's, here's, here's something that's amazing. And it's it, it was like a little blurb in there that nobody picked up on. And, and so I'll just kind of put it out there for you guys. It was the piece about if you lose your rank, you don't lose your bonus, you just lose it for that month. And then the next month that you qualify for it, you pick it back up. Not a lot of people get that. If you're new, you're just kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. Well, back in my day, when we had these things called good bonuses, if you ever did something wrong and lost one, you never got it back. You get this forever, as long as you don't quit. See, that's the biggest problem is, is that I think people get deflated if they have a bad month because they didn't work. Mm -hmm. See, what happens What happens with uh, us as leaders, as we get older, we kind of get lazy. We're like, yeah, hey, guess what? I did awesome last month. I'm going to take the next six months off. And then all of a sudden they lose a bonus and they're like, oh, what just happened? Well, guess what? If you decided to take six months off, I never recommend you do. Always be working. If you did and you lost a bonus, guess what? If you went back and requalified that seventh month, you keep getting paid for the next 18 months of that bonus. Not only that, they're still stackable. So you're not you, – do you guys understand how much money is available? Like if, if, this, if this was how much money was available every single month to you that was sitting right on top of my desk, you would not be able to see me and Stephanie right now. Here, here's something too, because I, I love that there's bonuses, but you guys, we got to number one with not one bonus. Okay. So that's a lot of money. That's a perfect in, segue. Good job, yeah. Sorry. That's a lot of money in this comp plan with no bonus. That's an extra bonus. So know that that is amazing and we can drive through that, but know that there's just so much more. Yeah, I exactly. It's exciting. I mean, think about that. If you look at the income chart, um, at what point does that cause you to go, oh, all of my bills are paid for? For most people in the U.S., that's right at about diamond. The average household in the United States has just under $2,000 a month in expenses. The average American in the United States has $54,000 a year in income, combined income between husband and wife. So if you think about that, people are almost – that, that's why everybody goes backwards. That comes back to the whole getting to Ruby part. That $500 a month would have saved us from having to file for bankruptcy and foreclosure because we were $300 shy every single month that just compounded and compounded and compounded. See, if you're looking at these people, the reason why they're going backwards is because they're making $54,000 a month. Taxes are coming out. They've got $1,900 in bills. They're actually only bringing home $1,700. Each month, $200 is going on credit cards until it breaks. If you could get to Ruby, all of a sudden, now you can breathe. Once we got to Diamond, we're like, this is great. And when we started, we didn't have income charts. So all we knew was get to Diamond because you'll be a bazillionaire. <laughs> because all Mark said was once you get to Diamond, you have the license to print money. He didn't say once you get to Diamond, you need to sit back and relax. When we got to Diamond, we were like, oh my gosh, that's what our check did? Sweet. Let's go out and work harder. 
see what I think most people kind of have a misconception of is you are going to do work from now until you go in the grave, no matter what you're going to work for somebody else to pay you what they believe your time is worth to accomplish their goals and dreams. You have to take priority of your life. Use this vehicle of it works because you are worth more. And with it works, your income potential is limitless. Mm -hmm. You will work to the point of unlimited in Pam's already said we can get paid a million dollars a month. I personally believe I'm worth $2 million a month. So I'm going to break her rule. But the thing is, is you can create whatever kind of lifestyle, whatever kind of dream you can and go for your dreams, not somebody else's. Now, what may happen is you'll get to a point where all of a sudden you're making a $10,000 a month income, which, you know, there's a bunch of people on here that are doing that. Guess what? You may get stuck there because in your mind, you don't know that you are worth more than $10,000 a month. I believe every single one of the 196 people on here now are totally worthy of more than a million dollars a month. Why? Because you are all world changers. You are all life changers. There is a plan for you to help as many people as humanly possible. And that's what I love about this is Chandri can't make a single dime more unless they help 196 people on here become successful and get their own dreams. That's why this business is amazing. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that we have all these life changing products. Nobody ever really talks about that. I mean, really guys, come on, we got greens, <laughs> uh, we got cleanse, we got this crazy wrap thing, uh, we got cleanse. Green. <laughs> oh, hair, skin, and nails, which we should just re rename to beard, skin, and nails. Just saying. Um, I mean, our product line is so amazing. I just, I, I think that if we can just get out and start talking enough about it and not being afraid for people to say no, because guess what? Some people don't like coffee. When somebody comes up to me and says, Hey, would you like coffee? I'm like, no, they don't go in the back and cry to the manager. They just don't. That's my life. I know. I'm um, stealing your stuff. Yeah. My wife's smart. Just and saying. You guys, this is something too, is use the product. You know, don't be afraid to share your results. Um, and you're always going to have different results because if you're like me or human, I fluctuate and it's okay. But when I need to get back on track, we do have amazing products that I get back on track and show people, you know, it's, it's absolutely okay. So if, if you're like, how, I just don't know what to do. Use the products for you really be consistent with it and get your own personal results because that is going to lead you into so many more. Uh, customers and distributors. I have a new before Europe. and after every year. You do. He's great at that. So I wanted to ask you guys this because I, I think this is in, important. So you guys have gone through a lot of, you know, a lot of life, a lot of personal development. I mean, obviously you've, you've grown your understanding and knowledge and wisdom to become number one earners in the whole entire company. So do people ever tell you they're going to sign up on Friday and they don't do it? Oh my gosh, all the time. I also have people that say they're going to sign up on Friday and then disappear on Saturday. It's like, why did you give me your $99 if you were just going to block and unfriend me? So this, this is not your question. This is my question because he doesn't really sign he, people. He, he didn't say Stephanie. He, I'm sorry. No, he did because you do every once in a while. So we know everybody's strengths. I am the distributor gatherer. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do this? That's Three, I know you're like, I know you're like, so um, life might happen or maybe they don't get paid enough or maybe somebody talked in their head, but that doesn't mean you can't follow up with them again. So I'm right on top of it. Do not stop following up with them. Um, and I just let them know, hey, you know what? I don't want to bother you, but you probably got life happen. Maybe you have kids, something went going on, but you know, I still have that spot ready for when you're going. Do you have a different day that you're ready to get started? So I'm always giving them that it's okay. So yes, we have it more than what you really think. I think that's the thing is um, most people do freak out. Um, or if I'm talking to someone, I always let them know, hey, if you don't, if I, you can't do it right now, it's okay. What day do you get paid on? We'll get your kit ready and then we'll process it on the day that you have. Here's something that is going to blow your mind. So we probably have it 10 billion times more than you. And the only reason why is because we contact 10 billion more people than you. So how do you make your check go up? 
is you contact more people and get more people to say, hey, I'll sign up on Friday and don't sign up. Why? Because that means you have more and more people that you're talking to. See, the problem is, is when you end up not having people to talk to. That's a bad place to be. You know, there, there's this thing called uh, a funnel. And if you just pour a bunch of people in it, eventually somebody's going to pop out at the bottom. But if you're not pouring anybody in the top, nobody's ever going to come out the bottom. So you need to constantly always be adding to your hundreds list. That's why Stephanie gets more no's is because Stephanie's asking more people for yes. Yeah. Awesome. So good. Well, let's do, okay, little role play here. I don't know if you guys have never been asked this, but here, let's, so let's pre I'm Batman. <laughs> here we go. You're Batman. So, Stephanie, you were um, reaching out, messaging people online, and you found Jury, and Jury's your brand new distributor, and so we're all on here kind of meeting each other for the very first time. So, what are some things to get Jury going that you guys would talk about? Yeah, so just talk like people? how you would talk to a brand new distributor, some of the things that you would do. Jury, you have an amazing, amazing choice of husband <laughs> and you did a really good job with this guy okay I, I really like him um so usually i'm taxi though i'm not like actually face to face on a zoom so i'll do what i do in a text okay. so um immediately when i sign them up i'm like i'm super excited to get you added into our team page here's your website what i want you to do is log in and i know you might not do this but that's okay we're all you know somebody on here might love this i say this is our first goal log into your documents Go print out four customer order sheets, three distributor forms, steps to success, your Ruby chart and your diamond chart. And the reason why is I'm a visual. So I want them to visually see what we're doing. Now, we know you don't have to fill out that sheet, but what it does is gives them really physically now something to write on. So I'm like, flip, flip your steps to success over. Who are people that you think would be customers? Mom, friend, people that you trust that you know that would help you out. So I have them write down their list, and it might not be 100 people yet. It might be 10, 20, 30. We don't know. Um, and then are there people that come to mind that you just think, oh, I'd love to have them as business partners. Um, they've talked about maybe possibly doing something. Who comes to your mind that you're like, they're just, they would be amazing distributors and write their names down. So you have to do that. Um, let's get a party booked for you immediately. Like that is something that's so important. Um, I feel like if we can get in front of their people, it gets them a win pretty quickly. Um, you know, that for me is where I, I feel my strength is. If they're not local, um, I still say, let's try to get you one and I can either FaceTime, do a live party, do something to kind of help them. Um, the other thing that we do is give them, um, I wait 24 hours. So I have them do all that, have them go through the team page, just get familiar with things have them look at each product, right? Because we want them to know a little bit about each product because they're not going to have their kit. Um, and then after their 24 hours, I'm like, okay, we're going to do a post. Here's a post that we're going to do and I'm going to help answer the questions when you get them because you're not going to know everything yet. Um, I tell them they have direct access to me, but I want them to ask in our team page. And here's why, is if I can get them asking in the team page, I may not be available, but somebody else has got them to answer the question for them, right? So now what that's doing is creating some layered leadership in your pages as well. So now you can see, oh, Susie over here is helping to answer this. She's going to be a great leader. She's stepping up and helping to answer these things. So, you know, as you're growing your team, you're going to naturally see who steps up without even asking. Um, so that's why I really do that. Of course, I want them to message me, but I also don't want to do all the work. So if I can have my teams helping, and what does that do? That builds their confidence up as well on, oh, I'm, I had to ask that question. I know how to answer it. So the more vocal you guys are on team pages, the more that Chad and Jury will see you, the more that they're like, I got to hone in on to Octavia. I'm just seeing names. You know, so wh whoever it is, you just need to do that. Um, and then if they're texting or messaging people, I just give them those kind of that script with the product tester or something just to see if they can get some customers. And again, I tell them, I didn't get my fourth loyal customer until my 30th day. So don't panic. Like, I understand you want it right now. Sometimes we get them right away. If not, it's okay. We're going to keep developing until we get it figured out. So that's kind of where what I would do is a, a new one um, and then get, get you on a call, like the corporate calls 
And if there's a local event, you've got to get to an event because it fills you up because people are going to come at you like, Oh my gosh, you're so crazy. Those things don't work. Um, you know, that's what we were told. Like that's never going to work and, and look where we are now. So, uh, that's what I want you to be like, look at me now. <laughs> I mean, it works. You just don't. That's so how, how often would you say, so when you sign a new distributor, how often are you reaching out to them? Like it's through text, but how often are you? Um, okay. So I'm a little bit different. Okay. So you guys got to take, I'm going to give you when I was a new distributor to a black diamond distributor now. Okay. So there's two different plays here that I could be doing. So, um, I am very upfront as a black diamond. I'm very busy, right? I have a large team. So when I'm talking to that distributor, I tell them you drive me crazy. This is my one time in my life that I'm going to say, use me. The more that you are reaching out, the more that I know you're engaged and you want this because I'm not going to be hounding everybody that doesn't want it. So you've got to drive me crazy. I'm giving you right here, free game to, to use me. Um, back when I started, I was probably right on them because I was wanting diamonds so badly. Um, so I was willing to drive them crazy. Get me in front of your parties. Whatever I got to do, I'm going to go do it. Um, I'm still like that to a point, but also I know that there's people that are willing to do anything without me hounding them. So does that kind of give you so leadership that's on, you know, kind of that balance of how to do things? Let those new distributors know to drive you crazy so that you can help them. And you guys will probably go through different seasons of your business where you feel like, you can give your time because maybe you signed one distributor that month. So you have more time to give and help them. Or if you're signing up 10 distributors a month, my time just isn't as, as free as when, if it was just one. So I hope that kind of makes sense a little bit. Okay, so they're asking some questions in here. So one of them is how long did it take you to get to diamond? Um, okay. So when we started, we didn't have charts. <laughs> so it took us a little bit longer when we finally discovered charts. Okay. So, right. Could you imagine not having a diamond chart? I was like, we looked at the cop plan. Well, Joel looked at the cop plan. I did not. Except did not. I just wanted to know how to make money. So he looked at it and he's like, well, I only see five blanks and we have seven wide because we're just told to put people in. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense to me. So we got to figure out something here. So we were kind of going wide, not knowing what we were doing. Um, and then we met with Chris and Carla Burns and she said, well, I think I have something that you could look at. It's called a diamond chart. And I was like, well, what is that? And she showed me this diamond chart and I was like counting the boxes. It's 24 distributors. And I asked the question, I said, can I fill these circles myself? And she said, well, yeah, but people don't do that. And I said, that's not my question. Is it legal? Can I do this? Cause we have that placement key, right? And so she said, yeah, people don't do it, whatever. And I said, okay, well, I need to make money. And I knew about the $100 fast starts at that point. So I can move anybody anywhere I want and still get $100 if they get their customers. Okay, I'm going to do that. And I can get to Diamond? Okay, awesome. And if people help me along the way, awesome. Bonus. But I'm not going to rely on them. So the moment we had our Diamond chart, um, overall, it took us four and a half months. So we saw that when they came out with the new bonuses, right? The go and the go fast. That absolutely makes sense because we did it in about the time frame of what they're doing. A little bit longer, so maybe we would get a go bonus. Um, and then there's sometimes that we did a little bit faster. So Diamond was about four and a half months. And then we got to double pretty quick. And then uh, that jump from double to triple. Ooh. Yeah, well, we sat there somebody, for about a year. Somebody hung out at, at double for a year. I was rich, $10,000, baby. That was awesome for per month. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then, yeah, and then I decided, well, I don't like this being by myself stuff. I need more people, more team here. So that's what you guys gotta be thinking. So um, the next thing I really want to talk about now, now you guys have been in the business for almost eight years. And so you've, you've seen the, how the company's evolved from eight years ago to now. Speak to us of, you know, how far we've come and just where you see the company going over the next eight years. From eight years ago to now, mind boggling. The opportunity that you have is eight times better than when we started. So just imagine what it's going to be eight years from now for people getting in. The thing that people don't realize is we're still at 1% market cap for the United States. Honestly, if you all just kind of walked out and, you know, if I challenge you to knock on three of your neighbor's doors, um, 
that's kind of scary because nobody knocks on doors anymore. No. Text through your neighbors. I bet you they don't know about it works. And the only reason they probably do is if you have a magnet on your car. So the opportunity is so much better than it was when we started. We didn't have charts. We didn't have blitz cards. We had one shirt that says it works. We had half the product line that we have now. Mm -hmm. No so, other countries. So no open countries other than us in Canada. So think about that. So where we're at today, eight years from now, I'm like, okay, well, we could probably add 24 more products, 25 more countries, and every single one of you on here could be Black Diamond in eight years. Why? Because of the fact that if you keep working and don't quit and just do something every single day to move your business forward, it's not a matter of if, it's when you'll go Black Diamond. And it's dependent on how fast you go is based on how much of that work you do each day. And that's going to only get easier and better. Why? Because they're going to announce something at Green Carpet. I have no idea what it is, but guess what? They're not going to make an announcement that's going to make all of our businesses go bad because that's just bad business. I mean, think about that. Anytime that they have an announcement or they do something, it's not to hurt you. That would be completely ludicrous. Why would they do anything to destroy your business? Because anything that hurts us ultimately hurts them. That's why this business model wins. The problem with corporate America is they've got things called shareholders and shareholders are greedy. So they will cut corners to make money all day long. Why? Because it makes share prices go up. We are the shareholders of this company. The only way that they can help us make more money is by giving us better opportunity, more products, and more countries. That's a win-win-win for us. Mm -hmm. So where we're going over the next eight years, uh, quadruple black diamond. That's it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I said 500,000. You said three. So whatever <laughs> five a lot. is, five times black diamond. You just have to keep working on her dreamer, Joel, to get it to where you're Yeah, going. I got to fix her dreamer. <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh. That's so awesome. Well, do you, do you guys, I know I know your time's really valuable. I know you guys have a lot of stuff going on. So, um, well, one last, one last question just popped in my mind. So if someone joins this company, let's say they're one of those people that's just so busy and legit busy, right? Not just someone that they're busy sleeping and they're busy eating and they're busy walking the dog TV. and watching TV. Let's say it's someone who's already successful. They have a lot of life going on and maybe they have two hours a day. They can, they can squeeze into this. What are you telling them to do in that two hours that they have every day? Oh my gosh. Two hours is like 24 hours. Yeah. Let's talk about um, 30 minutes. You know, and I saw you looking at the clock. So most people can only um, focus and absorb about 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, people are getting antsy. They're not taking things in. So I do focus 30 minutes and guys, what that means, is don't go scrolling through Facebook. If you're going to go message, go message. Don't, don't answer people's questions. Go message everybody, take a break, and then go answer it again in your 30 minutes so you can get that focus time. So um, if you know that you need to message 50 people and you have two hours a day, you're going to get that done. If you just sit down, do what you need to do, you're going to get it done. Two hours is a lot in this business, honestly. I, I said that to the girl today. She's like, okay, I'm not working this summer. I said, if you give me four hours a day, you will go diamond by the end of the summer. There's no question because we know, Jury, that that focus time, you can do a lot. So I, I love busy people, like legit busy people. Why? Because busy people are productive and they get things done. The reason why is because they are doing stuff that actually creates results. Okay. So that's what I want you guys to take away from tonight is if you are doing work with this business, it is 100% results oriented. So if you are not getting the results that you want, you need to ask your upline or Chad and Jury, what actions am I doing wrong because I'm not getting the results? Uh, we've got these great things that they come out with every, every month, the playbooks, the go fast and go bonus playbooks. You need to go in there and actually follow it. Don't just print it out and put it on your desk. They put that together for a reason. Why? Because if you do that stuff over and over and over again, you will get results. 
because that book is only results oriented. The, 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 the biggest thing is, is when you're getting stuck on Facebook and like Steph said, you you message one person and then all of a sudden shiny toy happens to pop up fidget spinner and you're like, yay, I'm a fidget spin on Facebook for four hours. And then you're like, wow, I did a lot of work. You didn't do any work. You just played on Facebook. So if you are doing focused 30 minutes, I guarantee you that you will become super successful because you won't go down rabbit holes. That's yeah, what's so yeah. amazing. You catch yourself. If you do, oh, refocus on what you need to do. So make your list up today, guys. It's a new month. This is such a great time to do this Zoom. How many distributors do you want this month? Now break it down weekly. How many do you want weekly? And how many are you going to have to call or, or message or hand out blitz cards to get people to say yes? So I do it weekly, so then it breaks it down. Um, the other thing is we all go to the grocery store. We all go get gas. So the things that you want to do is switch up where you get gas, switch up maybe where you eat, because we're all creatures of habit. So I feel like we always go to the same grocery store, always go to this, at probably the same pump at the gas station. If it's open, you'll go to it. It's weird. Um, so, to, so just do a few different things like that. And now you've created more time in your day that you didn't even realize that you have more connections with a Oh gosh, instead of paying at the pump, I'm going to go hand out a coupon to the girl paying at the, that's taking my money. They don't want to work in a gas station. It's probably a second job for a lot of people. That waitress, it's probably a second job for her. They're in school or something. So what a great way to make some extra money and just letting them know, hey, I love your personality. They suck, then don't give it to them. Um, I don't want sucky people. <laughs> um, you know, you so, can pick who you work with yeah, too. That's what's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so you will find time. It's a matter of, what is your priority? Are you, are you willing to do the things that will get you that freedom of being able to work when you want, where you want? So um, two hours is a lot, guys. I think uh, you will all be ambassador if you really committed to that and, and give yourself those short breaking down week to week. But that's, that's really my magic, guys. I think... Um, you know, I'm real. I haven't changed. I have a lot more money. I'm still, still Stephanie. I still talk to people. Uh, you wouldn't know what we have. Well, maybe if you saw Joel's car, but uh, for the most part, you know, uh, be, the, bad. be the best version of yourself. <laughs> be the best version of yourself. And the great thing is, guys, is you can retrain your brain and be positive by what you're putting into it. What are you feeding yourself um, as far as books and um, what's going on? Is there TV on or is it inspirational? Are you opening the Bible the first day to get your mind right? What are you doing? So that's something too that I would recommend is Joel's really gotten me into the habit of don't open my, my phone right up, read, it, whether it be there's 31 Proverbs, read a proverb first thing in the morning or do something like that to, to clear your mind and get your mind straight. But, um, it's exciting when you guys can just realize you have the ability to do it. Yeah. There's nothing different about us. And, and one of the things that you have to do this month that you may not have done last month is absolutely practice the three E's. Uh, Dick Vitale is a great sports announcer, and he always talks about this. He said it doesn't matter what it is. If you have the three E's, you will be successful. And the three E's are excitement, enthusiasm, and energy. You can put those in a text, you can put those in a voice memo, you can put those in face-to-face. -face. If you have those three things, you will naturally have people gravitate towards you because people are drained all the time. People are the reverse of that. So if they meet somebody that has energy, enthusiasm, excitement about anything, they want to jump on board. If you're just like, hey, have you tried that crazy rap thing? They don't care. But if you would think that this rap is the greatest thing on the face of the planet and how have you not heard about this? You mean you didn't know you can get results in 45 minutes without having to go to the gym? I mean, we recommend that you go to the gym, but you don't have to. You could just get results sitting on your couch, drinking water for 45 minutes, watching the NBA Finals. Are you kidding me? Everybody wants that. They just don't know it exists yet. If that's the kind of commitment and conviction that you have, people will be like, you're right, I've never tried that, and I would love to see results watching basketball tonight. You know, we went to um, Dickie V's um, uh, fundraiser that he does. We just went a couple weeks ago. 
go YouTube, go Google him and just listen to him because he's in your face. He is so passionate about his kids with cancer and finding the cure that I was like, can I just give him all my money? So that is the type of person that you want to be. If you could just feed off of that um, and take that dick by tail is who you're going to look for. And, and Chad and Jerry know who that is so they can type that up. But just be excited, you guys. Lots of amazing things are coming. I wish I could share. I know a few things. Um, and just hold on. Just stay, stay in your lane. Uh, know that greatness is coming, and we can't wait to see you guys promote and, and cheer you on, too. So hopefully that was good for you guys. That, it was that amazing. helps so much. So why should everyone be at Green Carpet? Oh, my gosh. So Because anybody who is anybody is at Green Carpet. I, and here's something. I have never met a successful person that hasn't been to events. Why? Because non-successful people don't go to events and then they quit. Yep. So that's what really changed our business, um, Chad, was Joel is kind of like you, like that we got to go information, information. And I'm like, just tell me what to do. Like, I just want to make money type thing. I love people, but yeah, that's, yep. So I was like, I don't need a bunch of ooh, rah, rah, just whatever. So I go, but I caught the vision. I caught that they're real people. And honestly, I saw people making a ridiculous amount. And I was like, if that person can do it, I know that I can do that. So whether it be you relate to somebody or you're like, that person's out of their dang mind because we're real people. We're not paid spokespeople to come in, these networking gurus to come and sell you something that didn't if work. If we were professionally we paid speakers, up. we would be broke. Yes. <laughs> um, so you have to, it fills your cup, it fills you up. Um, and don't you guys see pictures and wish, God, I wish I was there. If you can't figure it out or if you're like, I can't do it by myself, reach out to your, on your team pages and go, I really want to go, who, who will be in a hotel room with me and really do that. We did that a lot. We had seven people, seven other girls in our room, one conference, poor Joel. And I'm like, sorry, I can't not let them come. So everybody's just packing in and sleeping on the floor, right? So you've got to get to these events. That will The air conditioner change. couldn't keep up. It was yep. hot. So yes, you need to get to Green Carpet. For sure. Wow. And that's how I met, you know, you guys really is is we met and Jerry was so kind and sharing so many tips with me. And I am forever grateful for that because there's a lot of people that don't share things. And she was so willing to share with me. And nobody else, I shouldn't say nobody, but most people other leaders don't want to share their secret stuff. And Jerry's just like, here, this is what works. I'm going to take your phone and this is what you do. And so I thought, holy cow, there are good people like me out there. And, you know, that's where you meet people that are willing to help you because they want you to succeed, whether it's your team or not. I don't ask whose team you're on. We're all together. The more that we see you be successful, the more growth it works has, the more that we change the face of this industry that it is good. And that's what we want with that works is to know that it works the industry changer and that it's not one of those things, right? This is the wave of the future. So um, hopefully you guys can go, we'll see you at green carpet and uh, we'll get to meet you guys. So man, pure gold. Thank you guys so much for, for, I think it was kind of a silver effort. Sorry. Yeah. It was a black diamond effort. That's what it was. <laughs> All right. Well, we love you guys. Love we'll you. rock out this month. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in a few weeks, too. All right. Yeah. See, see you guys. Bye. See you later.